Hi everyone, welcome back to Catherine's Plates. I have crock pot beef short ribs on the menu today. Delicious. We're gonna low and slow these bad boys right here. I've got eight beef short ribs, some delicious seasonings that I'm gonna lock into these short ribs and give them a nice sear, a nice delicious flavor. And then we're gonna lock it in the crock pot right here with a little bit of liquid. <sighs> Low and slow these guys all day. Or you can even do a fast mode if you want on high. And then at the end, I am gonna show you how we're gonna finish these off so that they are nice, sweet, sticky, got a little crust to them. Yeah. Okay, you ready for this one? Go grab you some beautiful beef short ribs like I have here. So we're going to go ahead and start seasoning these up. So what we're going to do is make our seasoning blend. To a small bowl, we're going to add two teaspoons of salt, two teaspoons of black pepper. I've got three teaspoons of onion powder and three teaspoons of garlic powder two teaspoons of oregano and two teaspoons of paprika and then to kind of sweeten it up we've got two teaspoons of brown sugar okay I'm just going to take a whisk and blend this all together I'm just going to take my ribs and just lay them out Alright, we're going to take our seasoning blend here and we're going to place it all over the top parts of these. We're going to rotate them around until they're all nice and coated. Okay, I have a pan heating up behind me. We're gonna go ahead and take our short ribs over there and we're gonna start searing these off. That will lock in some delicious flavor and give it a nice color also. All right, let's head on over there, add some oil to our hot pan and then get started. Okay, you wanna make sure it's nice and hot in your skillet. Now I have this over medium high heat. So I'm gonna place my ribs in. Oh. I'm going to be doing these in two batches so they get a nice sear on all sides. Get that oil down here. There we go. Alright, so we're going to cook these about three to four minutes on each side, rotating until they're all nice and browned up. We're not cooking these all the way through. Alright, we're going to rotate these around. Sear both sides. We're going to pull them out and then what we're going to do is place them into a crock pot that I have sprayed with some non stick cooking spray. I have all this delicious flavors in here. I'm going to go ahead and add two onions that I've sliced up. I'm going to go ahead and turn my burner off. I'll be using the onions for us to sop up that delicious flavor from the short ribs and the seasonings. And then we're going to put this all over the top of the short ribs. Okay, what we want to do now is add about 
10 ounces of liquid to our crock pot here. Now you can add some water, you can add a beef broth, or you can even add some beer if you want to do that. I'm just going to take my beef broth here and I'm going to pour that all over the top here. All right, it's time to place our lid on. And then what we're going to do is cook this on high for about five to six hours or on low for seven to eight hours. You want to take a fork and you want to go into it and make sure that these ribs are fork tender. Now we still have to get to the barbecue part, so stay tuned. I'm going to show you how we're going to finish these off so that they are nice and sweet, sticky, and delicious. All right, I'll be back, you guys. Okay, so the short ribs are nice and tender in the crock pot here. What we're going to do to finish these off is I've got a nice sheet pan lined with some tin foil. I've got my oven and a broil. And then I've got my favorite barbecue sauce and a brush that we're going to slather it on with. So we're going to take our ribs out of the crock pot and we're going to lay them on our sheet pan. Now I just double layered some tin foil on here for some easy cleanup. So we're gonna take these delicious ribs that look like that, and we're just gonna go ahead and place them on our sheet pan here. All right, look how delicious these look in here. Be very careful, because when you pull them out, you're gonna pull that meat right off the bones. <laughs> Those are some good looking short ribs. Aren't they? Oh, mama. slathered pretty good. We're going to put this in our oven that's on the broil temperature and we're going to cook these for about three to four minutes and then I'm going to take them out, flip them over, we're going to put some more barbecue sauce on the back sides, put them back in the oven for another three to four minutes. We want these nice and sticky, sweet, and with a little crispy edges. All right, I'll be back. All right, Look at these ribs here. Nice and slathered, sticky. Mm. I'm gonna turn this one over for you. Look at that. All right, that's how tender it is. Those are some meaty. Look at that. Short ribs. Too. Yes. Mm. Ooh, who's ready for a bite of that? Let me see. <laughs> Hope he blows on it. <laughs> oh, I am. Oh my God. Is that good? Oh, those are so tender and All right. yummy. Here's my bite right here. Mmm. They are so tender. That meat is so delicious with those seasonings that we mixed up and put in there. Notice I did not cook the, these with the barbecue sauce inside of that crock pot, okay? Because we really wanted to taste that meat. Mmm, so delicious. All right, who's making these? Memorial Day, Father's Day, Fourth of July, summer barbecue. Thomas Day. <laughs> Thomas Day. All right, crock pot beef short ribs, barbecue style. All right, give me a thumbs up on this one. Make sure you comment down below. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. Y'all, I have a playlist that I'm going to put down into the description box of more of my crock pot videos and maybe some other things for you. I will see you on my next episode.